Welcome new employee to the Cubicle Raiders training video. The objective of Cubicle Raiders is to find and trade off his supplies to gain seniority points. The player with the most seniority points at the end of the game wins. To get started, let's set up the play area. Place the break room card in the middle of the play area. Now separate and shuffle the rest of your game cards into the four main decks. Managers, Recruits, Departments, and Desks. Each player draws a random manager card, takes a department requisition token, and a player pawn. Before we can go any further, let's take a look at your personnel file. Your manager has a special skill only you can do, so keep this in mind while you're playing. Now it's time to select turn order. The oldest player will be the first player to start this game. Okay, let's get ready for the first turn. Place the day tracker cube on Monday. Days are the number of rounds in the game. Now place the break tracker cube on break 5. Breaks are the number of turns in a round. Draw a department card and place it below the break room. This will tell us what supplies we can trade in for that day. Next, draw four desk cards and place them below the department card. These will have the supplies that are available to search for. Last, we draw three recruit cards and place them in the recruit area. Recruits are helpers that you can add to your team for different abilities to help you win. Players now take turns in clockwise order. Okay, it's time to look at the player's turn. Players can perform two of the following actions during their turn. They can search, trade, and recruit. Let's take a look at the search action. To search for supplies, move your player pawn to an empty desk drawer to search that drawer for the corresponding supply. You can move to any drawer you wish as long as it doesn't contain another player pawn or a broken drawer token. Okay, now roll the search die and do one of the following. On a 2, 3, or 4, you've succeeded. Add one of that supply to your supply pile. On a 6, you get double of that supply. Add two of that supply to your supply pile. On a 5, you failed. You didn't find anything. On a 1, you broke the drawer. Immediately move all player pawns on that desk to the break room. Place a broken tile on the drawer. This drawer is no longer usable for the remainder of the day. If this was your first action, you may resume your turn. If it was your second, your turn ends immediately. If half or more of the drawers are broken on a desk, remove any player pawns, placing them in the break room, and tiles from that desk and flip the card over. This desk is no longer searchable. If two desk cards have been flipped, the day is immediately over and you must start a new day. If this day was Friday, the game is now over. A few things to note about searching. You can only search a single drawer once per turn, but you can search two different drawers in a turn. If you start your turn on a drawer, you cannot immediately search that drawer with your first action. You must move from that drawer, then come back in order to search that drawer this turn. Now that you know how to get supplies, it's time to trade them in. To trade your supplies for seniority points, move your player meeple to the break room card. You can trade in only the supplies that are wanted by the current department. The department card will tell the ratio of supply to seniority point as well. In the example shown, tape can be traded at a 1 to 1 ratio, so one tape for one seniority point. Okay, so now that you have some seniority points, you can use them to recruit. To purchase a recruit, move your player pawn to the break room card, and then pay the associated recruit cost. When a recruit has been purchased, replace it in the recruit area with the top card of the recruit deck. Recruit actions can be taken immediately after purchase. If a recruit specifies an ability that includes the text once per, whenever you use the text on that card, flip it face down. You may ready that card when the time period that was referred to as once per has ended. In addition to the three turn actions, players may perform a departmental requisition action. This action happens once per day. To perform a departmental requisition, you may move to the same desk as another player, then roll the die. On a 2, 3, or 4, your requisition was approved. You can now steal one supply from that player. On a 6, your requisition was promoted, and you can now steal two supplies from that player. On a 5, your requisition was denied. That player now steals one supply from you. 
On a one, you've been demoted. Now that player steals two supplies from you, the drawer you are on breaks, and you go to the break room. Once every player has taken a turn, the break is over. Move the break tracker down to the next break number. Keep the player turn order for this day and begin the next turn. Your meeples stay where they are even if they're in a desk. If this is the last break, the day is over. Once all the breaks are over, the day has ended. Discard the department and desk cards. Place player pawns in the break room. Decide first player for the next day. First player is now the player with the fewest seniority points. If there is a tie for fewest seniority points, the player with less supplies goes first. If there is still a tie, flip a coin. Winner goes first. Now ready the break room for the next day by putting out the new department card and desk cards. Each player keeps their recruits, supply tokens, and seniority points. If the day was Friday, the game is over. Once Friday, the last day, has completed, the game is over. Each player now adds the cost of all recruits they have. This is their recruit bonus. Now each player counts their seniority points in their pool and adds it to their recruit bonus. The player with the most seniority points win. In the event of a tie, the player with the highest total added cost of recruits wins. If there's still a tie, the player with the most supplies wins. Congratulations! You'll be receiving a promotion. Thanks for watching this Learn to Play and enjoy climbing the corporate ladder to your success.